Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to Supercharged Manifesting. This is Tasha Chen. I'm so excited, as you know, to have you with us this Monday morning. We are going to be talking about manifesting. One quick second, let me turn this amazing volume off. <laughs> okay. So, uh, good morning again, everyone. Welcome to Supercharged Manifesting. Today, we're going to be talking about how to align your living space to attract abundance. And um, you can probably see, because I, I think, and, and as you may need to mute yourself again, but um, I'm going to have an amazing guest, Inez Martin, Martins. I always leave that S off. And uh, she's of Inez Martin's Design. And I know because Facebook has been going crazy with everyone just chiming in, really excited for, for this morning to learn from her. So I wanted to kick off by saying, those of you, I know we have a lot of guests this morning that may not have joined us before. Every Monday morning at 8 a.m., I jump on and I give what I call spiritual coffee. This, this segment, if you would, is called Supercharge Manifesting. And I just jump on Monday mornings for 20, 30 minutes, and I just share incredible tips about how to live an amazing life. And really, especially if you're an entrepreneur, the thing that I'm the most passionate about because I feel as entrepreneurs, we take the biggest leap of faith in life ever. And so I'm really passionate about sharing with all of you everything that I've learned on my own personal journey and that of my clients in regards to how to use the number one asset that you have in your business, which is your mind, how to leverage your mind to create abundance, clients, like a windfall of clients, how to get on with living the life that you really dream of, doing what you love, making lots of money, feeling safe and knowing there's money in the bank, money being created, and you have, you know, everything in place so that you can do the one thing that we're all here for, and that is to enjoy life. So please continue to join us every Monday morning, 8 a.m. It is the best way to kick off your Monday. And today, I have a very, 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 very big surprise for all of you. At the end of our segment, I'm going to be releasing something brand new. My team has been working all weekend. <laughs> they weren't so happy with me, but um, including my best friend, I had to definitely pull the best friend card this weekend to pull this off. So I want you guys to um, make sure that you stick around till the end so that you can hear about this wonderful opportunity that I'm going to have for all of you. And without further ado, if you're like me, you're probably wondering, how does my living space help or repel abundance, love, prosperity, all the good things that we want in life. And I don't know about you, but before I found out about this, I was like, you know what, you don't know, you don't know. And then when you know, when you do find out, you're like, oh my goodness, let me spend the entire week just re reorganizing and decluttering and getting rid of all that doesn't serve me in my living space. So I'm going to turn you over to the expert herself. And before we do that, would you go ahead and just share, tag, like, invite all of it every friend that you have that you know they don't know either <laughs> and you're going to be the shiro or the hero this morning by having them be able to chime in so that they can get to see how they can um, start working on their living space to attract in more of what they want so go ahead and share tag like do all of it invite thank you thank you thank you and now miss Inez Martin. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so uh, whatever Ta Tasha just said about tagging your friends, this is something you want to share the most um, with the people you love the most, just to create that abundance in your life, to share with your friends and family. So definitely go ahead and do that. Um, so this morning, I'm going to share the five tips on how to align your living space with abundance. Uh, I do interior design and I have bases in Feng Shui, which allow me to share this information and my passion for helping people live more aligned and, 
and, and create this abundance that we all deserve. So basically, we're going to start by saying your home is your sacred space that belongs, belongs to you and your family, a space that should provide you relaxation, where you can regain the balance, where your energy for your day starts. So that's like, you know, treat it as your sacred space. Um, I would like to start by having a quick visualization exercise. Um, if you are driving, you know, you can always do it. This is going to be recorded, I believe, Sasha, Tasha. So I, I'm going to have this. If you can close your eyes, you can close your eyes. If not, just do a little on. So this will just take uh, a couple of minutes. I would like you to take a few minutes to visualize your dream home. Mm. Take some notes um, at the end, if you wish. Now close your eyes, have a deep breath, breathe in. And visualize that dream home. Open the door. Walk inside your dream home. What do you see at the entryway? Visualize the colors the shapes, is it bright with many windows? Feel it, touch the soft pillows. Is there any music playing? Smell it, is there a candle or any sense burning? Walk inside the living room. Look around. And what's the emotion you feel? Have a deep breathing. You can open your eyes and if you want to write something down, just take a second to do so. I believe the closer you feel your dreams, the faster you can manifest them. And Tasha does the same. <laughs> Have them present at all times, will shorten the time to achieve them. So whenever you want to do this visualization, you can just to have always present what your, um, your goals are. So now let's recreate this same experience in your own home. I believe, I mean, not everybody has the possibilities to do a big renovation now. Not everybody wants to move, um, can move to your dream home right now, but you can always do little shifts and you can always um, move your furniture around or get small decor that can start shifting the energy of the home. So this is this is what I'm here for. I'm not teaching how to do a big renovation because that's that's something else. I'm here to, to show you a few quick tips on how to move the things around your home so we can create that abundance. All right, so let's start by sharing the five tips on how to align your living space with abundance. Tip number one, the front door. <laughs> what is the front door? The front door is the face of your home. This will welcome people and good energy to come inside. No clutter whatsoever should be in this area. This area should be open, bright. The bigger this area, the better. But if you don't have that situation right now, you know, there's little tweaks that we can do, perhaps do a nice piece of art or uh, some people come to me about mirrors. Mirrors are very uh, specific. And as long as they're not right in front of the door, as, you, as long as they're not um, facing you, as you, know, you open the door and you face yourself, that, that, would be, um, that would be creating a little weird situation. So they can be on the side, but making the space bigger. That's okay. 
um, for example, so no clutter whatsoever. Let's say if you walk in and if you just drop your shoes and that area has the shoes and extra bags or anything that you just walk in and leave in there, try and not have any of that. Because that's like, I know clutter. a lot of people put their mail, their keys, like as soon as you walk in the door, there's like a little trap for everything, you know? So you're saying no. No, have it hidden because the front of the, the, the front of the house, the entryway is definitely the most important area because it is you opening opportunities. Um, you are creating the space for new uh, uh, opportunities to come into your life. So as, lo as, as, as long as this area is clean, if you have mail, try and have it very clean. Maybe put it inside a drawer. Okay. Uh, but the ideal is to always have the mail sorted as soon as possible. So what we, we call clutter um, unresolved uh, problems. So if you have mail, that means you are postponing those issues, those problems. Ah. So to have it open, take care of it. Um, and, you know, you can always, not everybody can do it the same day. Or, you know, some people tend to postpone it very long. Uh, worry about what's inside a mail so they don't open so that's a very hidden and conscious way of like postponing the problems right um, and then you have that at your front door it's like all my worries <laughs> and things that I'm trying to postpone and put off and you know is a burden in my life is like right there at your front door as you walk in wow <laughs> exactly I mean, wow. if you must have the keys and if you must have the mail, it's okay as long as it's organized and tidy and maybe inside. And it's not like the first thing that you see once you get home. Because that, mm -hmm. imagine you getting inside your house and you're remembering, okay, I have to deal with this mail. Or, okay, I have to deal with this, you know, mess and this clutter of um, kids' shoes, the kids' toys, um, the everything we keep in there. So, Got this, it you should be as clean as possible again um the front door should open be able to be open all the way to the to the uh, to the back nothing uh nothing behind the door allowing to you know nothing blocking the opening uh, of the door because that is blocking opportunities Got so it. wide Got open um let me see if I don't forget anything. Um, so our home is a mirror of our life. Yeah. The most, most of the times the areas of your home that collects the most clutter is also the areas of your life that you're facing challenges. So you don't want to be facing challenges in the, in the first area of your home, which is the entryway. Another um, big, a second, second, tip of how to align your living space with abundance would be objects in the core objects in the core that you bring from the past and consciously mm -hmm. attach you will attach you to the past experiences good or bad you will be attached to the, to the experiences let's just say objects that you bring from past relationships um good or bad you are align you know you are attaching you, yourself to that objects that you bring from past jobs, maybe maybe those clothes that you used to wear at a corporate job that you no longer do and you now are an entrepreneur. <laughs> you are not going to wear those clothes anymore, let's say, if you don't wear those clothes anymore, but those are you know more formal and you you, you think you need it, but you haven't worn them for a few few years. You know, you are like somehow keep seeing yourself on that past job on that. So getting rid of that, um, you know, allow you to bring new opportunities so you can you can align yourself with the new you that you're trying to be in the future. OK, so I have a question on this that other people might have. I have obviously. um <laughs> wow how do I say this so I I read about this before and I did Diane and I did like an entire weekend of getting rid of as much of the past as we could however some of us might have pieces of art 
you know, from our travels or a decor item that, you know, still near and dear to us, but, but hearing you now, it's like, wow, that's still anchoring us to a past experience, relationship. So how do you address that? Um, as, as long as the, the art, let's just say the art piece reminds you of a, of a beautiful moment on the beach, you are in this um, island and you've got this beautiful art, that will bring you a smile. Does that bring you a smile? Ask yourself, does that bring me a smile? Is this going to bring me happiness? And if you, if, if, if that's a hundred percent, yes, I love this, this piece and I would not, um, and, and I only have good memories about this. All right. You know, just, just skip it. But if that's going to bring you to, yes, it was a happy moment, but we broke up and you know i wish it had this 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 was a, a happier ending and i wish we didn't have that argument at the end you know try and analyze be aware of your thoughts and be aware of your mind where is that lead you because unconsciously we might want to no 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 this was happy but we always think about that person as soon as we see that piece of art yeah. whereas it, so i would say it's safer to just move on, right? We want new experiences. We want to attract new, a new love. We want to attract abundance. So it's good to have new things. Do not feel too attached to that because it's only an object, right? So um, more, more things and new art will allow you to um, experience new emotions. So be open to that. All right. Love it. So that was number two. Got it. Yes. Um, so regarding objects in art, so as you're already getting rid of the things that are um, attaching you to the past. So what are we going to replace it with? We're going to replace with things that we see, um, we see ourselves in the future. Like, let's just say I want to become this famous artist and I want to be well known by that I want to create I want to have art around my home that reminds me of that I want to bring abundance to that I don't want to keep seeing the things that I had from the past so uh, I just had you know um quick objects here <laughs> that I want to share with you let's just say I have all this around my house and what this creates is for example let's just see I have this book that I that you, you don't, you're not able to, to read it, but yeah. go confident in the direction of your dreams, live the life you imagine. So this is a book that I have here in my living room. Even if I don't read this every day, my, I know it's there and my unconscious will relate it, relate to that. And it will bring the memory and will, will remind me, yes, I'm here to live my dreams. So objects like this will always remind you, let's say, you know, um, I have little pieces of love around it too. This, I actually have this in the love area, but um, this, this is, you know, the colors and so vivid. And this is how I want my relationship to be uh, in, in, in bringing abundance to my relationship, right? Because abundance is not just the wealth, it's abundance in all, in all areas. So this is abundance for me in my relationship. Um, I have a beautiful gold shiny arrow pointing up because I see, I see myself raising. So this, this is another reminder. Um, candle for the smell, it smells beautiful. What does it say? Courage and wisdom. Mm. So little pieces that have a message or, or mean something to you that reminds you abundance. Having that around your home is, you know, is the, is the best thing you can do. Awesome. Okay. So, oh, um, other examples of the core that you can use, let's say art of um, water fountains, water means abundance and wealth, deep water, the ocean, um, if you cannot have a fountain and if you're not into having a fountain in the home, you can do an art or a piece or, or pictures. Yeah. You can do pictures of 
money tree or you can actually have a money tree plant in your home. Got a nice money tree at my entrance. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. come on in, money. <laughs> exactly. So, so people will ask me, oh, but that's, does that really have the lights right here? Hold on. <laughs> does that really bring me money in abundance because I have a money tree? Well, it's all about your intentions, right? If, let's just say, Tasha is walking inside her home and she sees a money tree as soon as she walks in, that's going to bring her mind to, yes, I am abundant and I'm walking to a home of abundance, yeah. right? And that, that's going to align your thoughts to your goals. So definitely, you're doing great with the money tree at the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> um, other objects, anything that reminds you of abundance, coins, chimes bamboo uh, or bamboo pictures um if you if you relate crystals to abundance you can also do a purple crystal um so anything that really relates you to well wellness and uh sorry abundance the tip number three how are we doing with time we have five minutes left Oh, wow. So let's, <laughs> let's speed this process. There's a lot, so much information that I want to share, but let's speed up this process. The kitchen. Kitchen is known by abundance and well, um, wealth. So kitchen represents abundance. Having it always clean with the appliances working properly is essential. So look into your kitchen, see what you have, see your um, reality in the kitchen. Let me move this here. Make sure your stove works properly. Stove, it's so important. Every, all the burners, make sure everything um, is clean. And add a bowl of fresh fruit and have always fresh food available. In the fridge, a fresh fruit, a fresh fruit will be inviting. Will be, if, you have, if you have oranges or um, oranges will be the best fruit to have or even apples it's inviting you want if you if you have a friend coming over and they see a beautiful bowl of fresh fruits they will you know they will feel invited and and you can also offer them it's it's food available um clean your fridge of anything that you know it's not fresh anymore fridge it's so important too. stop any leaks you may have in the plumbing Ooh. what I, I i could not um not include this tip because leaks are the leaks is a leak of money so um if you have to fix or bring a plumber do it or any if you have any damaged stuff around the kitchen or the plumbing you try and fix it as soon as possible because leaks means that you're having trouble in holding on to your wealth um wow Wow. This is in French where it's super important. So, so, the, so the importance of the appliance working, it's kind of like if the kitchen represents your area of wealth, right? So it's like having, my, having that area of my life functioning well, like we don't want anything in disrepair or unclean. We want to make sure that everything is on, working well, no leaks, clean. So, you know, there's not like that. Um, I think about when I think about the kitchen and the point that you're trying to make, I think about, okay, like a lot of us, I mean, I have kids, so there's just stuff all the time. And I realize now why it gets like, it grates me <laughs> so much because obviously I'm all about abundance and prosperity. Like I, now I understand. And there will be moments, in fact, last night, we do garbage on Monday and I was like, I have to clean this fridge. I have to get all the non-fresh foods out of the fridge like innately I just know that it's interesting so yeah. yeah that's interesting yes um I would suggest do not get overwhelmed with it because doing things out of stress will also not be you know not it's not going to bring you a good energy um but if you need to focus in one thing in a kitchen focus on your stove make sure the stove works yeah. all the burners work and you can also focus in the fridge um okay. I mean, if you can't just have it clean on all the time because you have the kids and, you know, you have a busy life, it's okay. It's understandable as long as you try and, you know. Um, you just give some attention to it. You give some effort to it. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Because it's, it's a very important note that I want to share with you. 
whatever you do in your home, you must love it. You must do it out of love. And the intention and emotions that you put behind this, um, this art of, of moving things around are the most important part for you to be aligned with the space. So it does not matter if you try and do everything, but you, you do it out of anger because you are stressed out, overwhelmed, coming out of work and doing it all. No, it, it will not work because you're not doing out of love. You have to love it. You have, you know, do it one step at a time. Take your time to do these things um, and, and enjoy it. Enjoy it. That's it. The next time my kitchen is a mess, I'm just going to go in there with love and happiness and go, oh. Yes. And, yes. and just use you just you can just use a mantra saying I am so abundant and prosperous because I have the time to take 10 minutes and clean this kitchen. I love it. You know? Yeah, yeah, because right. it is all about the energy that you bring to what you're doing. I love it. Okay. We are time. So I, I know everybody wants to hear the other two. So yes. you wanna you wanna do those quickly? Yes, having quality air and light is, it means good energy, wow. air and light. Open windows as often as you wish to bring fresh air. Clean any dusty window. Windows must be always clean. The, a dirty window will give you an unclear vision of your goals and what are you trying to achieve and wow. a clear vision of opportunities. Oh, Wow. And regarding to light, if you can use a soft yellow to make it cozy and, and inviting, even better. Okay? Wow. Next one, very important, plants. Mm. Plants, plants, plants. Our plants are the living energy that grows your wealth. Make sure the plants are looking great and healthy. Remove any dead leaf that... Um, le that dead leaves is stuck energy, so remove them, make it... If the plant is not looking so good, just replace it all together with a new plant. Okay. Um, if that could be, if, if there's a flower as well, it's okay. If the, let's just say an orchid, an orchid can have the pink or, or purple color. It's, it's great. Um, I would not recommend fake plants. If you do not have a green thumb, you can try maybe get um, a cactus or as long as it has round edges. So nice round edges will be a lot better than pointy edges. Interesting. All right. So next one, also very, very important. Balance each room with the five elements. This is a very large point, but I'm going to make it as quick as possible. And at the end, if you want to get more information, you know, you can always um, contact me or, um, you know, come to my page, follow me and I'll help you exp I will explain this better the so better pause one second because that's really important I know that so many people are on this morning and they're really excited and it, you know like it's so much at our event you had a lot more time to speak and share and people loved it they wanted to know about the bedroom and they wanted to know about their office and you know this thing about your living space and how to how to align it there's so many tips like everything that you're saying I'm like wow I had no idea so I really want everyone to hear how to find you. So yeah. uh, Inez, Inez, I'm sorry, uh, my Jamaican always messes that up. But Inez, uh, you can find her on Facebook. Her mm -hmm. business page is Inez Martins with an S. So I-N-E-S-M-A-R-T-I-N-S -E -S, designs. Is it designs with an S too? No, Inez just design. So Inez Martin's design on Facebook, and that's the same on Instagram. So go follow her. She's got tons of beautiful pictures, lots of advice, and that way you can reach her directly for more. So the last piece was make sure the all rooms have the, the five elements. And what are those? Just to, to add a little more to your um, comments, if you follow me, if you tag two friends, and if those two friends follow me as well, I will... Um, you'll have the chance to win a two hour consultation with me that has the value of $650. And I will, <laughs> and I'll be more than welcome just to guide you through your home on those two hours. All right. So, but you have to follow me and talk to friends that also follow me. Woohoo. Awesome. So the next, uh, the next final, um, point tip is very important. 
um, each room should be balanced with all the elements. And when I say all the elements, all the elements don't don't get too overwhelmed. This is um, just we're talking about shapes, colors, textures. So the elements are five, and we're talking about earth, fire, metal, water, and wood. So how how can we incorporate all these in each room? Um, very easy. You don't have to have the actual water. You can. So you can um, have art or have um, the core that represents this. So on earth, you can have something in yellow or brown or, or neutral tones that represent the, the, color, the colors of earth and or square shapes, anything square mm -hmm. shape, any objects, any vase square shape that also do um, you know, be related to earth, fire, you can add fire by candles, adding a candle or any color in red or okay. any shapey shape, uh, triangle um, shape, metal, anything round, uh, metals or color white. Okay. Water can be represented by a glass vase, black or dark blues. Represent, represents water and wood can be any wood vase or plants or flowers or anything green or blue. So having a little, a small element doesn't have to be, you know, I'm not saying go crazy and get a red pillow and a blue pillow and put it all together because does that not, you're not going to see that on my design either, but <laughs> anything small that you can incorporate those five elements together that will create a beautiful balance. And you will, feel, once you walk inside a room that has all the elements, without knowing, you will feel good. You'll feel in peace and balance. So that's that's a very important tip that Feng Shui um, pra practitioners, they apply and really works. So wow. A lot of info I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. And and the reason that I had Inez on this morning, for those of you that are meeting her for the first time, her work's been featured on Real Estate Met the Cover of Real Estate and Design magazines all over Miami, South America. She's incredible. Uh, if you've seen some of my photo shoots, they were done at one of her homes that she designed. And um, you know, just really a lot of wisdom. It was truly, I mean, I know I tried to put like the ocean in, in a glass here this morning, but I really want to encourage all of you to reach out to her so that you can get more. And speaking of aligned and my special treat that I've been working on all weekend for all of you, some of you may or may not know, but at the start of the year, I had a thing on Facebook that said, what's your word of the year? And my word of the year was aligned. And so I have come to the place in this journey where I figure, you know, I'm all about easier, faster, just, just in a way that makes it feel natural for me. And I've picked the word align because I understand that if I just tune in to the right frequency, I really can just have and be and calmly experience all of my heart's desire. And so if you look in the description, there's a link because I am going to be releasing a new masterclass called Aligning to Success. And here's the reason why. I come on every Monday morning and you know I offer tips about how to manifest and I read the post and I read the comments. And I wanna tell you that my, the thing, my passion is figuring it out for myself proving that it works, and then bringing it and sharing it to all of you. So in this masterclass, I'm going to share with you the exact five steps that I take every single time I want to up-level my success. And I want you to keep in mind a line, a line versus hard work. And here's the thing. We've bought into the idea that success must, must, must be hard work. I'm gonna challenge and prove, not only challenge, but prove to you that aligning to success is so much better. It's so much easier. I want you to think of a, a radio frequency and a radio dial, right? And so like success that's natural and in flow and easy is like tuned at 101.3. If you're tuned at 96.5, which means 
you are in that belief that it has to involve a lot of money, a lot of effort, a lot of hard work, a lot of all of that heavy stuff, you're not tuned in at the vibration that allows you to just align. And what does that look like? This year, I made the biggest commitment to align to success. I did. I, I, I committed for 30 days and here was the result. In 2017, let's say I made X for the entire year. By just aligning, by just doing the five things I'm gonna teach you over these five days, I was able to four times my 2017 income in one month, four times. So let's do simple math. 100,000, let's say I made in 2017, four times that would be 400,000, right? And when I look back and I think, wow, that was huge. How did I do that? I really just did these five things. I simply got up every morning and did every single thing that I'm going to teach you in this masterclass. So I want you to go ahead, use that link in the description and get registered, share with lots of friends. My intention is that as we go through this masterclass, there are going to be so many people who completely transform their beliefs around what it takes to succeed. And the first step is exactly what Inez talked about this morning. Every time I get ready to up level my success, I go through my home. In fact, my area that I get, I just intuitively know, like I, I just know this is where I need to go is my garage. And I'm going to be hitting up Inez to ask what that's all about. But it's like step number one is always clear space to receive. So you can imagine all that I have. I have a client who in my highest level of coaching, this is exactly what they have to do before we start anything else. She went home, she cleared her office, did the things that I suggested. And by Monday, this was Saturday, by Monday, she had clients streaming in, money streaming in, and that was just step one. You can imagine, right? It's actually not even step one, that's the pre-start. So you can imagine the power of the other five things. I want you to make sure that you're registered. And here is the thing, when you, when you get registered, you're gonna get an email. In that email, Tony Robbins says, the quality of your life depends on the quality of the questions you're willing to ask yourself. In that email is going to be a very deep and profound question that I'm going to have you take some time, be with yourself and really answer that question truthfully for you. Right? So go ahead, get registered, use the link, share it, but make sure you're registered, you're first in. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to declare today that you are aligning to outrageous success, not working hard, but aligning, right? So type in the comments, I am aligning to outrageous success. I want to make sure that I see all of that when we jump off. I know that the universe just watches for what we do every Monday morning. The rest of the week mirrors our intentions when we get off these calls. So thank you. Thank you, Inez. Thank you so much for being on with your beautiful self and sharing all of your wisdom. Look forward to all of us continuing to collaborate and really aligning to the abundance, the prosperity, the love, the success that's simply just all around us waiting for us to tap in. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Let's go have a very, very successful and love and happiness filled week. Talk to you next Monday. Bye-bye. Bye, Ned. -bye. Bye,